We were created for victory. We were created for takeover. But we lost it in Adam. And now we were born in sin, shapen in iniquity, under the thumb of the enemy. Jesus says, now it's time. He hits the cross and he says, Father, into thine hand, I commit my spirit. And the Bible says he gave up the ghost and he died. This is, this is, this is all Ephesians chapter number one. He gave up the ghost and he died. Why? Because he had predestined you to be like him. And God does not change his mind. We were predestined to be his sons, predestined to walk in his glory, predestined to have his authority, predestined to be to the praise of his glory. <laughs> Which means my job ain't to just give God glory, it's to wear it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Your assignment is to manifest his, his essence. And this is what Jesus is coming into the earth for. And so your Bible declares he's on the cross. And he cries, it is finished. Gave up the ghost and he died. And it's at that moment that he becomes sin. And he doesn't just die physically, he dies also spiritually. But he has to die spiritually because he's trying to get to hell. Why is he trying to get to hell? Because there's some keys down there that he's about to snatch. There's something that he's about to do that's about to take out principalities and powers there's something he's about to do that's about to restore back to humanity something that was lost in the garden and your bible declares that jesus told them in three days and three nights as jonah was in the belly of the whale so shall the son of man be in the heart of earth and satan after jesus was crucified had the princes of this world known they would not have done it why? Because Jesus left them a clue, but they didn't catch it. He said, except a grain of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. Except a kernel of corn falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. If they would have caught this revelation, they would have never crucified him. And they surely wouldn't have buried him. Because the last thing you ever want to do to a seed is put it in the ground. Because if you ever put a seed in a ground, it does not kill it. It releases the life in it and causes it to have the ability to multiply. And Jesus was saying, if y'all kill me, you're not going to get rid of me. You're going to give me the ability to multiply. And your Bible declares that Jesus went into the grave and came back out. Not just the only one, but the firstborn from the dead. And Jesus... Oh, shout Jesus, 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 he is. And Satan says, what have we done? What have we done? And Jesus says, this is the mystery. This is the mystery that I hid from ages and generations. That I went into the ground as one, but I'm coming up as the first one among many. <sighs> Which means Satan says, oh my God, we gave him the ability.
ability to duplicate himself. And I came in here to tell the church that Jesus Christ did not come to the earth just to be celebrated. He came to the earth to be duplicated. And we are the offspring of God Sit down just one second. He has the ability to raise all of us from spiritual death and all of us, all of us now are alive in Christ. Oh, I wish I could stay there, but let me move on so I can close. Can you take 10 more minutes? And your Bible declares that this is what Jesus, <laughs> just a sec, Adam. He said, he says, this is what Jesus came to show principalities and power. He came to show them that when he came out the grave, that he would produce a duplication of him. And Satan says, if we couldn't handle one of him, You didn't hear what I said. If they couldn't do nothing with one of him, uh, what they gonna do with all of us uh, when we really shift into our identity? What they 